From Eyewitness News, this is a severe weather alert. You're watching continuing coverage of a severe weather alert. This is video just into our newsroom from Route 95 at Route 10 in Cranston, and we're seeing some significant street flooding. Yeah, state troopers are actually blocking part of the road right now so that crews can remove some of that water. They're using heavy machinery to do it. The rain falling in many locations at this hour. And right now there is a flood advisory in effect. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo has the latest on the flooding. But first, let's get the latest on the storm from Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca in the Pinpoint Doppa 12 Forecast Center. Tony. Well, Mike and Shannon, all locations have turned over to rain right now, so accumulating snow. We are done. However, the high wind warning remains in effect until 6 o'clock this evening. Wind gusts have been impressive. Some isolated power outages as well. Still looking at gusts along the coastline. They're going to be ranging anywhere from 50 to a time 60 miles per hour. Inland gusts still between 35 and 45 miles per hour. The rain is blowing sideways. The wind is whipping along the south shore in places like Narragansett. Still getting gusts close to 50 miles per hour at this hour. Almost hurricane force in Wellfleet today. A gust of 70. Newport, Block Island, Westerly Point, Judith Fairhaven, all gusting between 40 to close to 60 miles per hour. As far as final snowfall accumulations, where else but the snow belt of Rhode Island? Boroughville, 13, North Foster, 10 and a half, Cumberland at 10, Warwick, Richmond coming in at about a half a foot. You get closer to the coastline, and uh, with the quick change over to rain, the amounts were much less. Places like Little Compton at around uh, three inches. That uh, change to rain occurring sooner, and as a result, southern suburbs and especially the coastline not getting as much. Problem is now is that these storm drains are clogged with ice and snow and with very heavy rain. We're getting some localized street flooding. Uh, TJ has been following that angle. TJ, we essentially went from a winter storm, a snowstorm to a rainstorm only in New England. Yeah, we actually have some uh, light rain right now here in the weather yard, Tony. It was a heavy rain earlier and something that has evolved over the last hour or so is that uh, street flooding issue. In uh, fact, uh, we had a few reports of street flooding via Twitter and uh, in turn, we contacted the National Weather Service and eventually a flood advisory has been issued. Take a look at this video. This is from Route 95. This is in the vicinity of exits 15 and 16 right on the Warwick Cranston line. You see a state trooper had to block the traffic. This is due to the heavy rain that came through, some snow melt, and also the clogged storm drains from all this slush that has fallen uh, across the area. Now, this a uh, uh, advisory is in effect until 6.15. In fact, you just saw it looks like uh, Route 95 has been uh, reopened uh, on that stretch, which of course is some good news. But you still could find some pockets of street flooding across the area this evening. So do be aware of that as you are out traveling. Reporting live from the Weather Yard, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News. Thank you, TJ. Let's take another live look at Route 95 near Route 10 in Cranston, not far from where those crews were working to remove that water that was building up on the highway. Governor Gina Raimondo, State Police still asking you to stay off the roads if you can. And please stay with Eyewitness News as we continue to track this severe weather alert. And remember, you can take us on the go with the WPRI Pinpoint Weather app. You can also head to our website, WPRI.com.